about you guys so we are back here today at the thrift store and today we're gonna be on a mission to find some film cameras overall to see if we could find anything dope we might even go over there and hit like you know some of the clothing items see if there's any vintage pieces we could get but for now let's head over and see if we can find anything all right this is a little dope right here magnetic case i'm gonna take this one off hold on to it this looks like some type of underwater housing check that out that's pretty dope but like i said this particular spot has been dry for the last couple of months i don't know if it's just me striking out or if maybe you know they're just not putting out as much as they usually would mars one photo video tripod all right <laughs> look at that branding you know this is old school right here just looking at that branding mars one all right so as expected there was nothing over there other than this little bag and that's really all we're gonna hold on to it right now our goal today though you guys is literally just to find one camera all right so what do we got guys what do we got check this out we got a minolta hymatic af2 not sure what the price tag is on that guy but if we can get a good deal on that thing right there i've always always wanted a good working a good working you know model because i've never had one that actually works so that one looks really promising beautiful 38 millimeter 2.8 lens on it see down below what do we got we got a speed light we got some lenses we got fishing reel but i'm definitely interested in seeing what the minolta looks like and if it's in good condition hi sorry for the uh, which no one did you want to take a look at can i just see this one right here yeah please? of course hmm. you guys have like other batteries you can yeah test? okay all right guys we found a minolta hymatic af2m right here 38 mil 2.8 lens so far man quality looks good lens looks actually really beautiful and uh seeing if we could test it out with some batteries right now how's your day so far it's going great how about yours doing all right is it busy usually on these two yes days? tuesdays are always busy because we change the colors uh -huh. and it's like a monday for us because we close sundays and mondays are you close sundays yeah i did not know that All right, so we put some batteries in, and it looks like it's working. I just had a quick question. Do you do a YouTube? I do. You yeah. do? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm filming. I'm sorry, guys. You're fine. You're fine. Really <laughs> Right, so I think I want to grab it. Okay, right. yeah, of course. Uh, did you want to pay for it now or are you still going to shop around? Still going to shop yeah, around. Yeah, of course, no worries. I'm going to give you a blue ticket, all right? All right. And then Thank I'll put this so at much. the side. You're very Thank welcome. You. Appreciate it. Um, this is yours, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still okay. got it back. No worries. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Somebody asked for it, that's why. All right, for sure. <laughs> is it a manager? No, a supervisor. A supervisor? <laughs> yeah. He's going to see what I'm buying, huh? And he's going <laughs> to pull the prices right? up. Somewhere over there. <laughs> hey, give me his, uh... Okay, thank you. Right, no problem, guys. <laughs> Would you look at it? <laughs> the supervisor asked for my channel name. I don't know. If they start watching my thrift videos, they're gonna know what I'm looking for. Maybe I shouldn't have given it to him. <laughs> so that right there in itself is a success in my opinion. The Minolta Hymatic AF2M. We're gonna take a closer look later. Once we're done thrifting for the day, because we still have a ton of other stores we want to go to, man, it seems like it's in really good condition. And also, it's a camera that I've wanted for such a long time now. So we'll, we'll eventually circle back to it, but it's an incredible find so far for today. Okay. You guys, we are finally back home after a long, long day of thrifting. Now, I know I said that I was going to other thrift stores after the one you guys just saw, but in all reality, there was nothing really there. And so rather than, you know, showing that footage and wasting your guys' time, I want to take you guys back home and, you know, just show you guys what we ended up did, ended up did finding. <laughs> what we ended up finding. We did find one camera today and just... Take you guys through the process of like what I look for in film cameras when I'm out thrifting, but also how I clean them, how I test them, um, and really just get them into a working order for my next shoot. And so I'm going to take you guys through that process and show you guys everything that we are going to use. I'm going to grab all that stuff and then uh, take you guys in and show you guys what we found today. So pretty 
much I have everything laid out in front of me that I use uh, anytime I bring home a camera from the thrift store. So first things first is always, you know, some disinfectant wipes, some type of sanitizing wipes, just because you really don't know where the camera, you know, came from. And also at thrift stores, usually it comes through a bunch of people's hands and, you know, whatnot. And you want to make sure to clean that up before you start to use it or put it, you know, up towards your eye. Um, if I don't use those, I end up using some type of like all-purpose cleaner. This one, it, whatever you want to use, just get it nice and clean. More importantly though, I feel like you need to have a microfiber cloth. Usually the microfiber cloths that have a softer feel to them just because they don't scratch the cameras up um, like, you know, tissue paper will. Especially on like plastic cameras like the one we found today. I'm gonna open it up here in a second. Uh, you can easily see the scratches on the black paint. So, microfiber cloth. And most importantly, my best friend here, the Zeiss lens wipes. If you guys don't know about these already, they're intended for use with lenses and glasses. And so, um, yeah, if you, you know, don't have these already, five bucks gets you about a hundred of them at Walmart. Pick it up. These are a life saver. Now in today's thrift session, I did only find one camera, unfortunately, but this one right here, you guys, is the star of today's show. So this camera is honestly kind of special to me because there's a camera that I really, really love. Um, but it's a Nikon and this model very much reminds me of that camera. So just a quick look at the actual camera here. The camera that we thrifted today is a Minolta AF2M. Um, on the top side here, hopefully you guys can see and that there's no focusing issues. Um, AF2M right there. And so what strikes me about this camera is the fact that it really reminds me and resembles of the Nikon L35 AF. If you guys know what that camera is and if you go dig deep into my channel, you guys will see, you know, multiple reviews on it. Now this camera though, the AF2M has a very similar feel. Nice and boxy, made mostly out of plastic. Um, as you guys can see on the front here, there's a little filter. Let me take that off real quick. Now, unfortunately, upon testing, I found out that the flash doesn't actually work on the camera. As long as the camera works and I can shoot it in daylight, for the most part, I think I am going to be completely fine. I'm gonna get this camera cleaned up really quick, and then I'm gonna, you know, bring you guys over, talk about the uh, camera itself and what I look for in terms of thrifting for film cameras. Let's go. Matter of fact, let me know really quick what you guys want to see done with this camera. Do you guys want me to just go out and shoot it in the city with a roll of film? Or do you want me to go do like portraits, street photography? Comment that down below really quick. I'd love to know what you guys think. I got her all cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can see it here on the camera just to do a little close up. It is a gorgeous camera, man. And uh, inside, the frame lines are actually really, really nice. All right, so as promised, I'm going to talk about what I look for when I'm out thrifting for film cameras. Um, and part of the reason why I wanted to make this segment of the video is because I get DMs on Instagram regularly asking, you know, what do I look for? What is a good deal? What's not? You know, is it worth it to buy, you know, X, Y, Z? And I'll be honest with you guys, it's really hard to tell you just, you know, from the other side of a message. Uh, there's a lot of factors that go into whether or not you could or should potentially purchase the camera. Um, but I'm going to go over kind of like the checklist that I go through. Uh, and kind of, you know, just what I think about uh, certain film cameras and whether or not I would recommend buying it. In terms of the checklist that I go through, the first thing that I look at is the lens on a film camera. So obviously the lenses on film cameras play a huge role in the quality of images that they make. It doesn't really matter what camera you get. It really all depends on the glass in front of the lens. And so anytime I find a point and shoot film camera that has a prime lens, that's usually a good sign that it's gonna make some decently good images. But there are obviously cameras out there like the Pentax IQ zooms or you know, like the Stylus Epic zoom cameras that still put out some really, really good images. And so you really kind of have to get a feel and do your research online on what cameras perform well and what don't. Uh, but for the most part, you guys, I stick to getting cameras with prime lenses. 
um, just because prime lenses are always going to be sharper than zoom lenses. Um, you know, just looking at the lens, you can see the condition on the top. If there are tons and tons of scratches and maybe they're asking, you know, more than what you want to pay, that's an easy pass for me. You want to make sure that the lens has no fungus, has no, you know, huge scratches that are going to affect image quality. Dust here and there, little, you know, bits of dust, that's fine for the most part. Um, but anything that is going to be significant enough to impact the image, pass it up every single time. Uh, a good way to do that and, you know, to kind of test is to grab your phone. I don't have it with me. Um, use your phone's flashlight and just shine a light straight through the lens and, you know, just check and see inside of there. Also, you need to check the aperture blades. If you're able to check the aperture blades, make sure that the apertures open and close at every single aperture or f-stop, I should say. Um, and then that there's no, you know, weird oils because sometimes they do accumulate that over time um, and that everything is working as it should. The next thing I'll look for is the name and, you know, model of the camera. Uh, cameras from Minolta, Canon, Nikon, Pentax, Olympus, you know, all the big name film camera companies that used to make cameras back in the day. Um, I would go ahead and consider fairly credible. You know, all of those companies made really, really good film cameras from the, you know, low end kind of entry level to the pro grade stuff. So if you find a camera in the thrift store with any of those brands, I would say go for it. The film cameras that I would stay away from are some of the more kind of like third party things like you may have heard of like, um, there was like a ripoff of Canon, it was like Cano. Um, and you, you'll know that it is a ripoff film camera because one, they're gonna be extremely light and two, you're not gonna find any real controls. It's gonna be kind of like you put the roll of film in and then uh, you kind of just shoot with it. So stick to those brand names of film cameras like Minolta, Canon, Nikon, and most of the time you're gonna be pretty solid. They made all really, really good film cameras. Obviously with the lens, you wanna make sure that the camera itself functions properly. And so if you find point and shoots that require battery, always ask if they have spare batteries laying around that you can use to test the camera. Um, not all the time you're gonna be able to test it, especially if they are in bags. Um, but for the most part, you know, if you can test it, always, always try your best to get it tested. Um, luckily, you know, this was, you know, this is 30 bucks. This is more than I am willing to pay for a camera like this. I want to pay comfortably around 10, 15 bucks for it. But they let me test it and the camera was working. And so, you know, I said, let's go for it. It's a camera that I've always, always wanted. Um, and so here it is. And kind of the last thing that I look for is the viewfinder. You know, put the camera up to your face and just see if the viewfinder is clear, whether it's an SLR, a rangefinder, or a point and shoot. Um, a lot of times, you know, these cameras over time will develop issues with the viewfinder. There might be fungus or there just might be, um, you know, maybe in like an SLR, the mirror is kind of locked up. You want to be able to establish that the camera is in good working order. Um, in terms of condition, I don't really care too much because my cameras get banged up all the time anyways. But as long as there's like nothing major, like a huge dent that is going to impact the functionality of the camera, I'm cool with it, you know. But that's pretty much the checklist, you guys. It's very simple. It's just checking the functionality as well as the lens condition. And uh, for the most part, that's all you really need to check when it comes to looking at film cameras in the thrift store. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. And I hope you guys have some good luck out there wherever you are with the thrift stores. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see me shoot with this camera. Some fun ideas. Uh, I'm willing to pretty much do anything now with this. And hopefully, hopefully um, on that first test roll, it comes out good. So that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one, man. As always, literally. Minolta Gang.